นิปอนเพนต์พรีเมียมวูดแกสโซลูชันส์สวีดีสแลนด์และไทยแลนด์ has been trading for long time long before you or I can even think of so let's get together and that's why I welcome the prime minister's proposal on the land bridge of k r a k a n a l where from there the ports of Sri Lanka open Colombo h a m b a n t o t a We are developing Trincomalee with India, which means when the connectivity comes to India, all of South India will have can come to Trincomalee and use the Kra land bridge. It's up to your Prime Minister to market it there in India. In a significant development, President Ranil w i k r a m e s i n g a addressed the Thailand Sri Lanka Business Forum at the Kingsbury Hotel, highlighting the auspicious timing of the event. The president announced the signing of a groundbreaking free trade agreement between Sri Lanka and Thailand, marking the second FTA with an ASEAN country. Expressing his views at the business forum, the Prime Minister of Thailand, s r e t a t h a v i s a n highlighted potential collaborations in Sri Lanka's growing hospitality industry, covering food and beverages, hotel supplies, and skills development through cooperation between academies and hospitality institutes. Emphasizing the cultural and religious bonds between the nations, he mentioned Thai Airways International's resumption of daily flights between Bangkok and Colombo, commencing from the 31st of March. It is my pleasure to be here at this networking session between Thai and Sri Lankan businesses today. First of all, I would like to express my full confidence that Sri Lanka is on the rise. I am certain that business delegation from over 20 leading Thai companies accompany me on this trip will echo the same sentiment. Apart from this, the signing of the FTA between Thailand and Sri Lanka earlier today is a testament to the confidence in the potentials of our economies. Looking at the strengths of our economies, let me give you a few suggestions of what Thailand and Sri Lanka can collaborate on. In the trade sector, our bilateral trade last year saw a growth of 16%. Accounted for 7.4 and 43 percent increase in export from Thailand and Sri Lanka, respectively. In the manufacturing sector, Sri Lanka seafood processing stands prominent among others. The collaboration between companies from our two countries have the potential to supercharge this industry to market around the globe. Other intermediate goods from Thailand can also support Sri Lanka industrial development, including latex and plastic for automotive parts, components for electric appliances, chemicals for construction materials, and fabrics for garment and manufacturing. In the service sector, Thailand can contribute to the Sri Lankan growing hospitality industry, ranging from food. And beverages to hotel supplies, as well as skills development and capacity building through cooperation between our academy and hospitality institutes. In the tourism sector, both sides can take advantage of the close cultural and religious bonds between our peoples. I just informed the president and members of the press earlier that Thai Airways International will resume daily commercial flights between Bangkok and Colombo. On 31st of March of this year, on the investment front, there are many Thai companies already operating in Sri Lanka, in particular in the infrastructure, manufacturing, and energy sectors. However, I do encourage more Thai companies to take advantage of Sri Lanka's growing infrastructure projects and tariff advantages in markets such as India. UAE and EU. Finally, on the maritime connectivity front, Sri Lanka can be a key partner in Thailand's aspiration to become the logistic hub in Southeast Asia with our land bridge project, 
that will connect the Andaman Sea with the Gulf of Thailand and reduce the transit time between the Pacific and the Indian Oceans. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, as the proverb says, strike while the iron is hot. Let me once again encourage business from both sides to take full advantage of FTA signing today. And as I said, everywhere I went during the past four months, Thailand is open for business. Not just you coming to us, but we are coming to you to help to grow your economy, move together into the exciting world. I wish you all successful and productive events. Thank you very much. It gives me great pleasure to be here this afternoon at the Thailand Sri Lanka Business Forum organized by the Embassy of Thailand in Sri Lanka. The timing of the Thailand Sri Lanka Business Forum is auspicious as we mark the signature of a landmark free trade agreement between Sri Lanka and Thailand, the second FTA Sri Lanka has signed with an ASEAN country. We have also renewed the Air Services Agreement this afternoon to enhance connectivity and facilitate people-to-people -people contacts between our two countries and a MOU was signed recently between the Gem and Jewelry Research Training Institute of Sri Lanka and the Gem and Jewelry Institute of Thailand. Sri Lanka and Thailand has been trading for a long time, long before you or I can even think of, even long before the Sukhothai Kingdom was made. This has been the relationship between our two countries. The issue now is how do you revive it? After all, we were a strategic part of the Indian Ocean for trade and you were strategic in the Gulf of Siam and going further on to the kingdoms of Angkor Wat or the earlier ones of Funan. So this historic relationship is what we are building on. We also have a good relationship, cultural relationship. We have, on one hand, we all share the Ramayana tradition. It's a story in your country and my country. We have added dead branches, Ravanas from our country. We also have the commonality of Theravada Buddhism, the exchanges between our countries. So, therefore, it is only fair that in this background and a time when there was trade, when Asia is picking up again and the development of the Asian economies are coming in from Asia-Pacific to the Indian Ocean and more so to the East African countries. We were there, I was there just a two weeks ago. The potential by the end, mid century will be there. So, here are two countries one at a strategic location in the Asia Pacific, and another here. So, let's get together. And that's why I welcome the Prime Minister's proposal on the land bridge of Kra Canal, where from there the ports of Sri Lanka open. Colombo, Hambantota. We are developing Trinkamali with India which means when the connectivity comes to India, whole of South India will have, can come to Trincomalee and use the Kra land bridge. It's up to your Prime Minister to market it there in India. We are ready for it. So, there is potential in all this. Not merely it going to India, but also our ports are also connected. We will be connecting to Africa. We are already connected to Europe. We are also looking at the new roads that will come, both the Chaba port in Iran, which will take you to Central Asia, and the new India, UAE, Middle East, uh, Europe route. So all the routes are there. This is why it is very important for us to work together in this field, where we are all hoping to become regional logistics centers. This is a part of our transformation. We also discussed some of the other issues, areas. I said renewable energy. If you can put floating solar, then we have enough reservoirs in Sri Lanka. We built enough for them. They are the ones built by the ancient kings and the ones that we built 20 years ago. But we have excess renewable energy in Sri Lanka. We talked of agriculture modernization and fisheries modernization. In respect of fisheries, the two governments will work to get the two, the private sectors on both sides together. We have asked for help with our private sector to join in how we can modernize agriculture. To tell you a secret, I just told my two colleagues there that the Prime Minister has offered to help us do commercial durian and both are saying they want it in their districts. So you Prime Minister will have to decide which district gets it. So there are many, many other areas, tourism as you said, we are opening up, some of your hotels are here, but we will be giving out, government will make available land, uh, buildings, historic buildings for this and the plan will come out for the south very soon and for the Candian areas. Another area will be the historic 
cultural areas where Buddhism went from here to Thailand. So this is what I have to say. I have read a lot of it here in, the, in my speech, but I don't think I have to say all that. The Prime Minister and I have cleared the way. Now you all better get together and do the job. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.